Yes, I'll be I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will it again? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go up here. At the T-junction, we're going to go right. And then we'll hit Cobham. And then once you go through Cobham, you basically are going to go onto the farm, farm lanes. Straight, pretty right, much cool. straight away. Cool. And then you're out in the open already. How long till we hit the mountains? Uh, maybe another 20 minutes or so. Before okay. we start hitting anything serious. Cool. Yeah. Cool, give me a chance to warm up a bit. Yeah, be good. Before it rides like a hooligan. No, proper versus whatever <laughs> This thing's cool, man. <clears throat> it's ripping my bike off. I think it's very rude. Alright, some meat. <laughs> George Rodriguez. My best mate since about 1994, I think it was, somewhere around there. Now this boy is an absolute legend, well, he was. He was a pro rider in Portugal for many years in the early 90s. Absolute flipper machine on a bicycle. <laughs> so yeah, he was looking after me in London. And yeah, putting up with me on the on the small folding giant bike, which was going to be my bike to ride all the way to, to Vienna. Um, until things went a little bit pear-shaped, which you'll see shortly. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so this is this is 2022 now, and um, we are right from London to Vienna. The previous, obviously, the previous couple of years we had COVID, so there wasn't too much riding there. Uh, but before that, I actually rode from Vienna to Salamze and then rode around there. But that was also on a on a folding bike, also on a on a giant. Um, and that was yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it because yeah, when I came back, I could literally just fold the bike up and put it on the plane, mm -hmm. and and fly home with it, um, which was super easy. So that's why I sort of went for the folding bikes, and yeah, this was the the second giant that I had, absolutely incredible bike. Um, I can't remember exactly the model of this specific machine. I think it was the fold away or something like that. Anyway, great bike. Great angle, put the put the wider handlebars on, it had all my luggage, everything, incredible gears for getting up the Alps, which was which was the main thing that I wanted, you know, to be able to get up the Alps. Um, yeah, and everything was going great until <laughs> you'll see in the next couple of videos. But yeah. Okay, enough about the bike for now. Let me tell you about the porter. So, Georgie and I used to work together back in the early 90s at a company called Panda Sportswear. Yeah, and that's, where, that's kind of where we met. I was racing since 91, and he was, I think he also started sort of late 80s. He started racing, and I wasn't, I wasn't a bad rider. I used to do okay. I'd sort of get the silver medals, but every race I got a silver medal for, well, Georgie got the gold medal. He was the boy to win. If you wanted to, if you wanted to take someone to a race and get some prize money, he was the boy to take because he would flip and destroy everybody. Absolute monster on the bicycle. You know, SA champion. I think 1991 or 92 was SA champion. I was supposed to go to the Olympics for South Africa in 92, and then you know things went a bit haywire there, and they decided to send the guy that came second. So he got completely miffed and. And rightly so, for sure. And he moved to Portugal from South Africa now. We both sort of grew up in the south of of Johannesburg in South Africa. And yeah, so he went to Portugal and raced there. And I carried on racing in, in South Africa. Um, but yeah, we've been mates ever since then. Absolute machine on a bicycle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. The dabbling duck. And that's it. Yeah, 
course riding in the UK, no cycle is complete without the obligatory visit to the pub. <laughs> it's got to be done, man. And it's so awesome. It's so awesome. Yeah. Bike, a bit of food, a bit of company, a bit of banter, up, slight man? rest off, get off the bike for a bit, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Cool. And thoroughly enjoyed catching up with my mate as well. So yeah, it all was going great. This is the spot, Georgie. This is the spot. Oh, good. Looking awesome, man. Nice place. Yeah, it's good. That's so what we do is normally, even in winter, because in winter, we put up a fucking tent, yeah? Yeah? It's like covered. Okay. Like you see, yeah. It's got sides and everything. I mean, it's got heating inside and everything. Yeah. And it's, um, so you can like, you can go in there, okay. it's nice and warm. Cool. And everything will like have a coffee. Nice. And, some cake. Normally, like, we'll try and get like carrot cake. That's like a thing. So, yeah. we'll have like coffee and carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. So, if you go somewhere that doesn't have carrot cake, there, well, it's not good. I think you'll get warm going out that hill on the way out there. Yeah. That, that warm. That's a, that's a solid climb, eh? Yeah. It's a solid climb. They've got some proper climbs out there. Mm, I see that, too. Yeah, no, for sure. Sure. So, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, do that. Yeah. Right, so the, the kicking you can hear there in the background is not the BB, it's not my crank, it's not my pedal, it's not George's knees. It's, <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. It's actually a, bi a big problem. And yeah, as you're about to see, things with the giant are not going great. So yeah, things are about to change. This is where we at bit of a problem. In London we've got, or I've got, five days to go before I need to start riding. And I looked at my bike this morning and I've got one pretty serious problem here. That is like the main <laughs> the main world. So the bike can literally, at this stage, can literally snap and off, which is not good. Not good. It's Monday. Um, the bike is all ready to go. Everything on. There's all the all the luggage down there. All the yeah, that lot's all going to be repacked, but all ready to go. And the bike is broken. So we're now going to go to London and see if Giant will replace it. Only which we'll have to buy a Brompton or something like that. I'm pretty keen on a Brompton, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they say about this. They're probably going to say because of modified handlebars and cranks and all the rest of it that they're not going to want to replace it. Um, but yeah, let's see. I mean, this is London. It's a first world country. Let's see what they say. Maybe we're lucky. Maybe we're not. If we're not, it's going to be an expensive day. But I need to get it sorted. <laughs> it's Friday. I need to ride to France. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, I'll bring the camera with and we can check it out. Are they going to replace it? They're going to tell a story for you. I think the problem you've got is that you've done modifications to it. We're from Africa, we modify everything. Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll see. We'll see what they say. We're going to be a sad story and an expensive day. <laughs> It's all good. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Good day out. I think, I think if, um, like if, I think if you had bought it from them, mind you, bike yeah. shops or otherwise, eh? Uh -huh. um, but in a case yeah. like that, I don't think they will. In South Africa. Yeah. Could be a problem. Yeah, could be. Ah, uh, well. We'll have to see. We'll see. We'll figure, we'll figure
please hurry up, please we got a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I still think it's better. Imagine we were riding that thing on one of those downhills and the whole thing just folded in half. Ooh, man, I'm alive. Yeah, that's not, not a way you want to crash, man. Mm -hmm. You know. The thing is, when, like I said before, it's happened to me, eh? and um, you don't even have a chance to react. It's no, just exactly. literally. You're on the deck, man. Like riding the next thing you're not riding, <laughs> and you're like, what just happened? <laughs> Uh, you're on the deck and it's rolled the Ada. Yeah, <laughs> rolled the Ada. Well, I suppose luckily in England they could have gone to the hospital, but... Yeah. Yo, if that's... I'm in Europe... Well, I have got travel insurance when I'm in Europe, so Yeah, but cool. even in but Europe, still... dude, they, they, they will look after you. Yeah. You, you, you. It's not like in, say, where like you walk into the hospital and they'll be like, where's your medical aid? You yeah, know? Well, exactly. otherwise give us 20 grand. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, <laughs> They'll treat you, yeah. and they might try and get money out of you, but yeah. you just you know, don't have any. <laughs> Sorry for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Still, yeah. Not something you want to you want to have at the start of your holiday. No. Definitely. Yeah. Anyway, could have been a lot worse. So. Well, at least well, you at least you found it when you did, because if yeah, you hadn't, I can not imagine. First, we're going to go to, to um, Walton to the uh, to the bike shop. Check Johannes. Check Johannes. See what he says. Yeah, I'll see what they say, and then and the advantage of going to Johannes is there's a coffee shop right there. <laughs> close. It's a Monday morning. This is actually closed on a Monday. Monday closed. Happy days, man. Let's go check it out. It looks like Monday closed. Drive all the way here. These muppets are closed on a Monday. What's up with that, man? Come on! That just sucks, man. Bastards. Monday closed. Oh, fuck's sake, man. The rest of the world's closed on a Sunday. These are actually closed on a Monday. Yeah. Happy days, man. Only agents in in London or in uh yeah, let's try to find another one. Oh. This 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 you need to do it. Yes. Um, you won't be able to paint it. No, that's, no, that's fine. fine. Yeah, that's not an issue. I don't care what it looks like, man. As long as it's yeah. welded. You can so, burn the whole bike if you like, as long as it's welded. <laughs> so, yeah, if you don't get anywhere with Joel, then, um, then yeah, it can be done. Yeah, okay. We're, we're not having much joy at this stage, because the only, oh, okay. the only uh, giant dealer in this area is closed on a Monday. Oh, really? Yeah, we just, <laughs> we, just, we just drove all the way to Twickenham to find out that it's, that it's closed. <laughs> Okay, so what happened? Well, yeah. eventually, because the giant dealer was closed and we didn't have any joy with them, we thought, okay, well, we can't, we've got nothing to lose here. Let's try weld it. Uh, Georgie's mate could weld it. So we got it welded up. Took it for a test drive, um, or test ride the day after, after it got welded. And just as well I did, and I didn't just ride to, try to ride to France, because that would have been an absolute disaster. And you're oh, halfway through the ride, it snapped again. The weld snapped again. And it's not the guy that's welding's fault because it was obviously just a serious stress point that and blew again. So that was the end of that. That was the end of the giant. We had tried everything, we couldn't replace the frame under warranty, and oh, the <laughs> welding failed. So we came in with our tail between our legs in the back of the car with Georgie's wife having to fetch us. <laughs> And off to the Classic. off to the Brompton shop. Okay, so we're at the Brompton shop, but it's not all doom and gloom. 
I've always wanted one of these bikes, man. And what an excuse to be able to buy one. <laughs> oh, man. And what a machine it turned out to be. So, yeah, I mean, it was it's a lot of money that I wasn't planning to, to spend on this adventure. But at the end of the day, I got, I got a bike I've always dreamed of having. And what a machine a Brompton is. Cool, 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 cool. It is actually a really well engineered. Yeah, no, absolutely. Prepared. Something else you must also show me is how to get that back wheel off to change a puncture. Because <laughs> I believe that's quite a story. <laughs> that will sound good. Yeah. Bring a bit of time. Is it? Okay. We need to get some beers for that. Yeah. <laughs> so I just there. put it now sort of pretty much. Do you need to uh, tighten both sides or you just tighten no, the one? it's just one. Okay, cool. So that and that does your pivot backwards and forwards, so everything. That, and then you can swivel it. Yeah. Um, so it turns off. Cool. And I put it now, so here you're maximum ah, right, right. space. Okay. So you don't go over that. So try not to go yeah. over that. But you cool. then have the option of swiveling there. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. will give you almost like a crane seat post. Yeah, yeah. cool. Which also cool. gives you quite comfort. Cool. And it's pretty much spot on, I would say. Yeah, that looks about right for me, yeah. I don't normally like to ride it too far back. Um, the other thing, because that's one thing, I don't know what you're carrying in terms of tools on your trip. I've got Allen keys and stuff, but I must get a spanner to do yeah. the back wheel. And this is not it's a 13, a eh? Sales one. <laughs> wow. So that's the I think it's a 13, yeah, is it? I assume you're trying to travel relatively light. Yeah. Let's have a toolkit. They have their separate toolkit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> oh, it's guys, it's guys in the boot. It's in the boot. <laughs> We're riding again. We are riding again. It's the porter. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got a Brompton, which I'm very happy about. But of course I've got panniers that will not fit on it. So I need to get a rack and I need to get a front bag for this thing that I can at least put all my kit in there. Kit in the bike to, to be able to get all the way to Vienna. But yeah, this is the, the Brompton shop in, in, in London. What a place, man. An absolute... Aladdin's cave if you're into Bromptons. They've just got the coolest stuff. They've got everything. Their service is magnificent. They are... Oh, these guys are just so geared. So geared. So you're... Here we are, Georgia and I, perving over all the bikes. Oh, it's cool, eh? This is insane. Check the gears though. This is interesting. So they're not using internal hub yet. They're just using four, four normal gears. Shit. So you don't have any ratios there, but Joe, you've got the front wheel helping you. So you don't it's need that. cool there. Check this cool. one out. Yeah, that's awesome. Not running the And it's not electric. That's interesting. Yeah. Eh? So this is a standard four-speed. Is this the one you originally were going to go for? Mm-hmm, it's a P-Line. This has got titanium rear, oh, okay. rear thing. Good. Triangle. Yes, so fast. Damn. <laughs> hey, brother. That's amazing. Fixed up. Fabulous, man. Hmm? That's one with the two pouches on the back. Eh? It is, yeah. yeah. And we've come with waterproof cover in there as well. Awesome. So. That's what we need. So you can get quite a bit of kit in that, I would imagine. Eh? Hmm? You get oh, quite this, a bit of yeah, kit. Yeah, yeah, It's a lot of plus and bag we've got. Cool. So, uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. So you clip it at the back of the bike. That's beautiful. Eh? Oh. I wonder how much that is. Probably about 3,000, 4,000 pounds. How much is one of these now? Uh, 4,000 with a oh. change. Oh. And you only got one gear? This is single there. We do a full speed. It's to punish you for spending that much money. Hmm? It's to punish you for spending so much money. <laughs> yeah. That's your wife's payback. But one gear. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker though. Just as beautiful. Look at that pivot. It's beautiful. Oh, that is fantastic. That's fantastic. Thanks, mate. We'll see you later. Love it, man. Love it. This shop's a legend. Legend. Should we go check it out? Is it just a workshop or what? I love the little ramp that you can bring your bike down. Yeah. Too good. It's classic. They do that like Oh man, this is beautiful. Eh? Insane. This is the coolest place. Yeah, I want that cap, man. <laughs> the last cap. It's a guy that I can order online. Oh, the helmets are cool as well, like Judy. Yeah, Check out these things. I mean, that's sick, eh? That's a fucking cool little helmet. Vintage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool, eh? Right. What a selection, eh? I haven't seen the A lines yet, though. There must be all these ones that came in here. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, really cool. Yeah. Really yeah. cool. Is it? Yeah, so lots to do before we leave tomorrow. Sure, man. Oh, cool. Do you have a. Oh, I don't know if it does recording. It's cool. Yeah, so I hope you have an amazing trip, dude. It's going to be good. Um, it's going to be good if I can get all my setup right. <laughs> <laughs> all the little issues. Dude. Uh, still not. Okay. Should I? I'm gonna stop. No, no, it's cool. Okay. Little technical issues. All right. All right, dude. 
Sweet, but thanks for everything. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next time you're coming with me. Yeah, next time I'll be there, dude. Hundreds. But not, not on a Brompton, dude. <laughs> Cheers. Good luck. Remember to stay on the left. <laughs>